I think one of the main themes in this film is uh, not judging a book by its cover, finding love in unexpected places, embracing the things about you that are different and that may seem weird, um, but those are the things that do actually make you the most beautiful. Um, so it's, uh, it's just about being yourself and, um, you know, not letting heartbreak destroy you. And um, yeah, it's about love. Uh, when we meet Marianne, she's a very uh, naive, uh, kind of wispy princess. And then, uh, but she does have big ideas. And one day she is going to inherit the kingdom. And, you know, so she, we already get a sense that she is uh, uh, someone who thinks outside the box. And um, she gets her heart terribly, terribly broken uh, by her fiance. And uh, again, instead of letting it kind of destroy her, she decides that she's going to be, you know, the phoenix that rises from the ashes, and she's going to come back even stronger, and um, you know, not not going to let him dictate the rest of her life. You know, she's going to stand on her own, and um, so I, uh, yeah. The Bug King is this uh, king of the of this dark forest of the of a bog, if you will, and uh, he. He's not a very happy Hector when we first see him. So, because he has, uh, as we discover, been, um, he thinks he's unlovable. And he's had an experience that has led him to believe that. So he's kind of cut himself off from the, from the, from the light. And, uh, and, and, he's, and his whole sort of sole ambition is to stop these love potions being made because it's these flowers at, at the edge of the forest that can make, these primroses that can make love potion and so all he wants is them not to be made because he thinks love is the devil love is the, the worst thing um well there's a uh, you know the bog king's world which is uh in the dark forest where all the goblins and trolls and you know weird creatures live um there's not any light and then you know there's the the world where the fairies and the elves are um the kind of you know sweeter brighter world um and eventually those worlds collide. And um, I think another theme in the movie is, you know, they realize that they aren't so different. Marianne enters the Dark Force because her sister Dawn has been kidnapped by the Bog King. And uh, she takes it upon herself to venture into the forbidden, scary, dangerous Dark Force to go save her sister. And uh, in turn, you know, meets up with the Bog King and realizes that her sister's under a love spell. And so before she can rescue her, they have to find an antidote. So, you know, these two total opposites have to kind of team up um, to rid this girl of this terrible infatuation that she has. It's a crazy thing called love. Yeah. <laughs> the Bug King uh, is just, he's a, I think that he's a very closed off uh, person because he's, he's been hurt. And so in a way, you know, the metaphor of he's in the darkness and he comes towards the light is, is sort of true, that he realizes that uh, he is lovable and via Marianne he, he understands that. So I think, I, think the, I think the message he learns is that, you know, it doesn't matter the outside. If you, actually what's important is in, in the inside and uh, don't be too concerned with what people think of you on the outside because actually those people are just superficial and you shouldn't really be so interested in them. Um, I mean, the music... Big time. Yeah, the music is, the... Is, is part of the narrative. It's almost like its own character in the movie. Um, and they, it's such an amazing soundtrack. I, I mean, I, I love so many of these songs, and they're, you know, there's six decades worth of songs, so everybody of all ages is going to be nostalgic about one of them or have some kind of association with it. Um, and I think because you do know them. It draws you in more. Like it's yes. not your, it's not just a, a song you're hearing for the first time in a movie. You actually have some life experience mm -hmm. with these songs, and now they're being used in a certain way. And, and, and I think so. I think it draws you into the film more. Yes. I, really, I really like it. It's it such a good idea. You. Strange magic. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, one, that one. That one. Yeah. And most people that see the film, that's the song that sticks with them is, is "Strange Magic." So I it's smell a dance remix. Yep. <laughs> Um, I think I think this movie, the aesthetic of it is really interesting. The fact that it uses uh, old songs is really interesting and, and opens it up to a whole new audience. But but mostly, I think the message that it sends out, which is, and I, we're just saying, it sort of feels like it's part of a a, a, a new 
leftward trend in kind of fairy tales, which is to say, um, to especially to young girls, uh, don't let men tell you what to do. You know, you decide. You're good enough, and uh, and you're powerful enough. And I think that's great. I really, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's really exciting.